Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here. I've got a very quick, very easy tutorial for you today uh, for YouTube, showing you how to create little chapters in your YouTube progress bar. Now this is a video I've created, it actually, you'll notice here, if I hover over it, it has little chapters. Uh, if you can read that, this one says section, this one says tabs, accordion, toggle, etc. video pop-up. These are all little chapters I've been able to add to this video. Now, I'm gonna go through the process, but I'll just let you know very quickly. First of all, the first chapter has to start from zero and chapters have to be at least 10 seconds long. And you'll scroll down here and notice I've actually added them in here. Now that is essentially all we have to do, but there's a few things I want to mention before I go through this progress, uh, this process and show it to you in action. So I've gone through another video of mine and I've actually written all these down, but I haven't added it to the video yet. I wanted to record it for you guys. Uh, but I noticed when I first did this, the actual chapters at some point stopped working. And I noticed a few things. For one, uh, I thought there might have been too many chapters. Uh, also, if there were any were out of order, so for example, I had a typo here with 25 instead of uh, 35, it actually caused them to stop working for whatever reason. So you do have to make sure you have them in order for one, but if you're finding they're not working, you may have to combine chapters like what I've done here, because some of these were only like 20 seconds apart and it's a one hour video. So I think it might've just been a little bit too, uh, yeah, closed up. But so if you're under any issues, just consider doing that, which we may do in the video we're about to look at. And I thought I'd record it live so we can tackle it if this happens. All right, so this is the video I want to add to. You can see here, it's just one big long progress bar. I haven't got any, um, so basically I've got no chapters in there whatsoever. I'm going to go into edit the video. And I'll show you how to format this. Um, I'm going to get rid of this section here. First thing, so what you need to do, I'm gonna copy and paste, I've got a list right here. I'm gonna copy and paste this list in there, but first I'll just show you how to type it. I'm going to actually remove the first chapter. But basically, like to start off with, I'm gonna type in zero, colon, zero, zero. And we're gonna type in introduction and settings. Now all you need to do is go through, watch your video, record your times. So if you open up your video over here on a new tab, you just gotta watch it, record some times. And let's say the next chapter is, I think it's actually at 2.18, so you know, two minutes, 18 seconds. So two colon one eight, and type in star rating, which is a part of the video going over a star rating block. And I've got the rest already typed out, but that's basically all you have to do. Type in the time with a colon, so minute, colon, second, second, space, and some text you want to show up. Best to keep that text nice and short. I'm gonna copy the rest in here, so paste that in there, until you have a full timestamp list like this. Now, as far as I can tell, I can't see any errors, but I'm gonna save this, and we're gonna see if it's worked. So I'm gonna open this in a new tab, and this ad's gonna play, which we're gonna skip in a sec ads and straight away you can see here we've got our section so we'll hover over this we've got introduction and settings review table of contents button content toggle so that is how simple it is simply typing that into your description with those timestamps keeping them in order is a way to just add these little chapters into your video so now if i ever want to i can scroll through you can see against the black here that it's spaced out it's easy to see how long sections are you can still see image slider content filter table of contents expand styled box it's that easy to create chapters for your video so uh yeah i thought that you might possibly find that useful. Uh, very easy to use, uh, great thing. If you've got long videos, like this one goes for 48 minutes. I've got a few other very long videos I plan on going through and doing this with. So I highly recommend checking that out because it could be a good way just to make your videos that little bit more usable. And um, I'm sure that YouTube probably prefers that we do this with long videos. So anything YouTube wants, if you can deliver that, it will help algorithmically. But um, ultimately, as long as your video is good, it should perform well anyway. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want more videos like this, uh, just improving your YouTube videos or your content, Please, uh, for one, like the video, subscribe for more. But uh, any anything you'd like to see, leave a comment below and I'll see if I can do something for you. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Have a good day.